Today, we're getting you from basically no AI agent to spinning up your own AI agent using the AI SDK from Vercel and getting it to send money to someone that you know. Tune in because you're gonna to wanna to see this tutorial. And for people who've never ever built an AI agent before, this is a great way to get started. Let's get at it. Awesome. So now that we're here, let's first spin up our terminal. Cool. And I'm just gonna create a folder called spin agent. And we're gonna CD into this folder. And we're gonna open up our code editor of choice. If you're an AI developer, cursors are a great one. So once we spin this up now, we've got this blank template and what we will need is basically three main things. One, we'll need our front end that we can chat with in order to get the AI to do things for us. The second thing is we'll need some backend component to basically set up the way that the agent can receive uh, the messages and process them with the LLM and then send the messages back to the front end so the user can see. And then the third thing we'll need is a tool call to be able to actually send the money. Uh, we'll work on these steps sequentially. And the best way to actually get started doing this is if we go to AI SDK and we can get started here on Vercel's page if we see this we can install this package and it'll get us going. If I just go to their quick start, let's say I'm new to AI, it shows you a great way on uh, what the AI SDK is doing and why you should even build with it and what all of this fun stuff that we're diving into around AI even is. But we know a little bit about AI, so we want to actually use the SDK. Let's actually put together a Next.js app to do this. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to create a Next app. Let's do it this way. And I'm going to open up my terminal here and create a Next app. Let's put it as Spend App Agent. Um, oh got to do this, this, and then spend up agent. And we're just going to go through all of these and click yes, 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 for all of this. And now we have the first instance of our Next.js app set up over here. And what we're going to do is once this is all done, we're going to go CD into our spend app agent. And now that that's here, we can go and navigate to the directory and we're gonna want to install all of these things right here. Basically, we're installing the AI SDK, which will make a lot of really nice abstractions on top of things that are just confusing with AI. Um, we're gonna build it. We're also gonna import the React library there to be able to use some of the components that they provide out of the box. And this last little fun thing, which is the package for the OpenAI uh, component, or for the OpenAI library so that we can easily call OpenAI when we're using our model calls. So without waiting here, let's actually set this up. Let's install it. And voila, we now have all of this installed. And as we go here, we can see our files everything set up. And now if we go back, we want to add our open AI API key. If you don't have an open AI API key, go to openai.com. And what we're going to do is we're going to go log in. We're going to sign up for an account. I have my open AI API key, so I'm just going to sign up with an existing account. Awesome. So the place where you actually find your API keys when you sign in is you'll just go to your settings here on OpenAI's API, um, and then you'll go to API keys here. And from here, you can generate an API, and then you will be able to use that as your uh, OpenAI API key environment variable. So I'm going to create a new key. I will call it test API again. I'll just link it to our project 
environment is right here. And then we can add our open AI API key. It came up with some kind of mock one. What we'll end up doing is we'll actually add our real one. I'll skip over this since I don't want to share my API key. And now that we have our environment variable set up, let's go create our route handler to be able to actually speak to the uh, models. So we have OpenAI already downloaded when we installed this. Um, and then we need to put this in as the place where our uh, front end will be able to call this request, to send a request here to, to be able to get the model response back. So I'm gonna copy this code. We need to put it in the API chat route.ts. So if we go to app, we could do, um, I believe it's actually app, yeah, app. And then what we're gonna do is we're gonna put in API and then we're gonna do, we're gonna call this one chat and we're gonna make it route.ts and then we're gonna copy this fun code in here. And basically what's happening is we are gonna make a request to an open AI model. You can specify whichever one, I'm using GPT-4.0 and we're gonna send in messages and it's going to actually stream the response back to us. So the cool little text you see when it goes typing as it's going, this is built in right into the AI SDK. So now next, we need the front end. We actually need the chat interface. So how do we do that? Let's actually wire up this UI. And before we do that, I'm gonna show you what it looks like um, ahead of us changing anything. So. First thing I'm going to do is I'm going to run this and it should show up in localhost 3002. Let's go here. Let's spin up our server or let's spin up our app. And you can see this is what it looks like out of the box for our Next.js. So now we're going to actually take this. We're going to replace the page.tx and we're going to use the out of the box front end that comes with AI SDK. So if I go to page.tx, erase all of this goodbye and now I'm gonna change it and if we go back to our page here voila we can see that this is now a text box so that you can actually like chat to so now if I say like hey there it should have the AI going and sending messages Wow we've got a whole chat interface just set up just like that with an AI model what's going on Let's see if it remembers my name. My name is Tyler. What's my name? Oh, cool. And it has built in remembering the messages that have been sent in. So it has built in memory, I imagine, during the session. So that's really cool. So now we've got the AI SDK with a very simple chat interface. And now the next thing that you might be thinking, especially if you're on this tutorial, is how the heck do I send money? Well, to do that, we're actually gonna need to give the AI the capability to have a tool call to call the pay kit. The pay kit is a tool by Payman to get your AI to send real money to people from just a chat interface. So how do we do that? Well, the first thing you'll want to do is actually take a look at tools here for the AI SDK. What is a tool? A tool is something that the model can call to perform a specific task. Models right now are just simple base models. They can't even search the internet without a tool to actually go out and search the internet to get real information. So to send money, they need a tool that lets them send money. And if you're ever gonna have an AI send money, you probably want it to be built with pretty tight controls and trust because AIs can be random sometimes. So that's what the pay kit from Payman actually does. So if we go here and we see the pay kit, it provides a ton of AI-ready tools to integrate Payman into an AI model's functionalities. To start using PayKit, all we have to do is npm install pay, Payman's PayKit, and then we need to go get an API secret from Payman. So the first thing I'm going to do is I'm going to go and I'm going to install the PayKit. So if I go here and let's say I make a new little terminal here, let's install the PayKit. This is now getting installed and we can basically add it into our model as a tool call. But how do we add that? What are the ways that we go about doing that? Well, first thing we need is an API key from Payman. So what we'll do is we'll go to paymanai.com and here 
we'll click on start building and we'll register for an account. So if you don't have a Payman AI account, go to register, we'll add our names, we'll register. Since I already have an account, I'll do another one here and then we'll add a password. Voila, this account actually already exists. Let's do this one. Lots of testing. So I'm going to get my email verification. I'm gonna sign in. Awesome, so I verified my email on my phone. And now we're gonna get this signed up, ready to go. We're gonna sign in. And for the first time when we sign in, we'll see Payman gives agents money, their own financial accounts to basically start spending money or receiving money. So we're gonna use this in sign box mode. And the thing that we need to do here is Payman already spins up an AI agent for you. So we're gonna go get this API key for this agent. And because the API key is basically what dictates how an agent can spend, it has all of these different spend metrics, how many limits it has, all this. If you wanted to do your own custom limits, you would go create your own AI agent. We're gonna go regenerate this API key and we'll use it for our environment variables that we'll actually place right here in end local. And to do that, we will add our environment variable to be called payman API secret. So we'll add that one right under the open AI one. So let's go out and do this. So to add it, we'll just add one right here, payman AI secret. We'll do another equals, which is what, or payman API secret. Boom. We'll do that, payman API secret, and then we'll add our API key that we get from here into there. So I'm gonna click regenerate. We've got this and we'll add that over there. Awesome. So now that we have our APIs set up from Payman and we've got our AI that has $1,000 in its account, we need to actually connect this account with this AI here. Just like a human, if it's not connected to its bank account, it can't go spend. So to do that, we'll actually look at how the pay kit operates. And what we'll do is we will basically look at this code and we'll just copy this. And actually we'll copy all of this right here. We'll import the pay kit. We'll have it use our API secret and we'll use the sandbox environment because we want to not move real money right now. Um, so what I'll do is I'll go, I'll import this. Let's add this here. We've got our tools. And to actually give this AI the capability to use this tool, you just pass in the tools like so. If we go to the AI SDK, you can see they have all of these, all of this concepts on how tools work and the different schemas. The Payman Toolkit basically takes away these, basically abstracts these schemas for you so you don't have to worry about all of this. You can just in basically three lines of code or four lines of code have everything needed to check your balance, send money, do all of this fun stuff. So now that we have this, our AI should be connected to this account that the AI has access to. And now what we do is we can go, let's refresh this chat and I can say, how much money do you have to spend? Actually, this doesn't work. Let's see why not real quick. Does it have it installed? Oh, we didn't install it, did we? Let's do this then. I thought I installed it, but ah, we installed it at the root level. So let's actually CD into spend app agent and we'll install it here. Cool. So now it should have access to this. And if we go, we do refresh. Let's actually refresh this. 
here. We'll do this, and I can say, how much money do you have to spend? Now this agent should actually be calling the tool that it has, and it should return how much money it has to spend. But why it's not is we've actually forgotten one important thing when it comes to calling tool calls with the AI SDK. We actually want to adjust how much, how many steps it takes for the AI to put out a response. So here, there's another thing that we have called max steps. Max steps basically tells the AI how many steps it can take throughout the thing. It operates as an agent. Again, we want to build an agent. So here, what we'll do is we'll give it max steps five. And now, if we go back, we refresh this, and we ask the agent how much. And now, as we're asking the AI how much money it has to spend, it's actually calling the payment AI to check and see how much is in its account balance. And if we go here to the dashboard, we can see it has a thousand and it can go and spend a thousand. The other cool thing you can now do is if the AI has a thousand dollars to spend, who can it send it to? Well, let's see, who can you send money to? And what Payman does that's really cool is it actually only allows your AI to send money to pre-approved payees. So if we go and look here, it says it has no one to send to because there's no payees added yet. You can either do this through the Payman interface, adding your first payee, it can be a bank account, or you can do it through here and say something like, add a mock bank account for me to test sending money to. Make up the name and everything. So now it should essentially tell the AI to create a fake account. And while it does that, you can use it to test money. Let's actually see if it added it. Woo! It created a fake account. You can go, you can send money to this account now. And let's just say, um, send John. Awesome. Send John $100. And now this should actually trigger the pay kit to move money from John's, from the AI agent's account to John's bank account. And if we go here, we can see we have a request for money movement from the AI. The other cool thing is that Payman will actually ask the human before it makes a payment to send money to John. And if we look here, we can see there's enough funds. Payman will also let you know that there's actually a first time payment here. So maybe this is something you should be a bit more careful of. It shows you the account and routing number. And there's some metadata here to help the AI with, to help the human actually know where this is coming from for the AI and for what payment to test account, all of this really cool stuff. So I'm going to approve this transaction. Voila. And if we go to the agent's account, there's now 900 because we just sent hundred to a test account. This is how you build an AI agent from scratch to send money using the AI SDK and Payman. I hope you enjoy this video. If you do, please like and share and subscribe. We will be sharing out more content that is awesome just like this. Thank you guys and happy hacking.